Hey y'all, my internet will not let me be great, so I've had to recreate the live stream yet again. Right now, this area is partly a mess because I just got through taking pieces from here and using them in other areas, but this piece used to be styled totally different. And then I used to um, have my office space here because I'm actually still in the front of the house, but now everything is being moved upstairs, so I am picking those things apart. And so look at the hoo-ha over here, y'all. I got pillows uh, over the place. The dining, the formal dining is a hot mess. The table is a mess. I don't want to turn the light on so you can really, really see. But it is a mess because I have just taken pieces from here and putting them somewhere else along with breaking down my office space that used to be in this corner right here. And I'll put that video up here and see I have my Razcar cot whatever that little cart from ikea filled with my items for you know when i was working and i move a little closer and then you'll see those gray shelves i'm waiting for the mailman to take them out of here so i've got lights up here and you know, above them got too close to the uh, diffuser yeah y'all be careful with these lights child they will burn but anywho but yeah it's everything is relative to your personal style and yes i am often team to much so hence something just fell down so i used to sit here and uh, have my little ikea desk right up in here but now that's moved upstairs and then i haven't had a chance to get the ras car cart up here i've got hoo-ha over here because i have just destroyed this area and so i've got to finish it up because i've got to put out either my yeah my fall decor i think i'm still going to honor fall <laughs> even though it's, you know, people are probably getting ready to de decorate for Christmas, but my house is, you know, pretty much always Christmas, but I do want to have, you know, a dedicated space for um, my decor. I'm gonna change out the curtains, and these curtains are from Amazon. My girl, Brandy Gibbs, put me on. I was like, ooh, I've been looking for some, and she had them, and so she didn't mind sharing. And of course, up here, I think I have a video up for this up here, but yeah, team all the time. And most of those items up there were that little piece right there. I DIY'd it during that year when I was doing DIY must. Ooh, child. I will link that video above and below. I think that's everything that I want to show y'all. Hold on. And again, speaking of decor being a personal choice, um, this is just some bootleg hoo-ha, y'all. You know what I, I told y'all? I don't like hanging up curtains on the wall. Okay, like, you know, stuff. So, look, I had the mailman. He and I made this little thing one year. And it's just some of that stuff you put. You can't really see it. But imagine a $1 waste can from um, Dollar Tree. And you got some of this, whatever this stuff is, that go in your house. And we just put it in cement. And so, again, it's one of those items where... I can just quickly change out the curtains and just, you know, change it up in a, in a, in a second. But one day I'll figure out that I'm going to hang some curtains. But I just like the flexibility of this being a backdrop or whatever I need it to be. This right here is an item that I had as a, you know, what is it? Like the little drink thingy, like drink station. But one day it fell out of my hands i was like oh my god so rather than it got a crack in it so you know you can't do nothing with that but oh here here's the crack right here it was cracked okay and so i was like really really bummed about it okay let's be real and then i decided to literally put lemons in it okay and so i just stuffed it up with some sunflowers and lemons faux lemons and i put it on this bling carousel that i love so i don't know how many of these i have because i have so many because i when i saw them i just knew this was what i needed and so these little light trees are from hobby lobby but what i'm saying is everything is your personal style and what you like okay and you know next time you see this too high over here y'all you know she will be blinged all the way out. And there go my forever potus.
Can you see him? There he is. It's a cutout, y'all. I had bought one for me and one for my grandmother a long, long time ago. And you'll have to only use your imagination to figure out how many times I had to remake this right here until I got happy with it. So I like it. This piece is a lifestyle from from this here this whole unit it's from ikea it was already put together i purchased it in that little when you're coming out of ikea they have like some sale items at the end of the shopping trip and so i saw that i'm like who put this other stuff back i ain't put nothing together so i grabbed it and it has been vertical but right now i am using it horizontally to store my fall decor I'll try to get a little closer, y'all. These knees, I tell you, these knees. But yeah, I have um, just the, you know, the glam pumpkins that are always, always, always in my whole decor pieces. And I got a couple. You can't really see, y'all, because I'm, I'm not, wasn't intended to film a video. But yeah, I got, you know, pumpkins in here from Dollar Tree. Yep, it's all about mixing high-low. These pumpkins are from, of course, Home Goods. And so I just mix items in here put a, a dollar pair of green what is it, not green orange lights after the holidays last couple years ago and i just had some leaves don't know where they came from and it just kind of just flows y'all so this little piece right here dollar tree it's all about making it your own okay then up on top of course i purchased these little um fox i say foxes i'm not sure what they are but these little foxes and again i put them on the blinged out lazy susan and he's hiding one of my favorite uh house sprays cinnamon caramel swirl from bath and body works and so i'll just have you know having that and this giraffe you know he came in late and he just fell out and i just left him right there and another little vase uh centerpiece that i just threw together just a mix of flowers that i feel like you could find in nature you know so i just let it be i wasn't trying to do too much i just let it happen and then this right here this little faux fur it's like a long hair pile and i got it from what's the place for the people from project runway get their furniture i mean their fabrics from mood i ordered this from mood fabrics and it came in a big big row and i just you know put it up here i kind of measured haphazardly to see how much i need for it to kind of hang over this little piece here to kind of soften up the surfaces again because i had this hard you know glass and bling and whatnot and the ceramic foxes and so i was like okay i need to add something soft and this was a butterfly that just fell off one of the um items and i just put it down some greenery at his feet okay all right y'all this is a janky video but i'll do more later I do shop my home a lot and I change it out a lot. The lamp that you see here has been everywhere in the house. I like to use my dress form that's normally red on top. I will put different fabrics on it, put flowers on the top. I will use a hula hoop in order to create a photo prop and I do have a video I'll link below on that. This was the holiday tree I decorated, I believe, last year for work, and I get inspiration anywhere. This tree on the right side is a, a local tree that I said, oh, I think I have an idea. When I saw the Big Lots Angel tree in the Big Lots, I knew I had to bring her home because she was absolutely gorgeous, reminded me of a design piece I made in 2018, so I knew I loved the aesthetic. She was only $65 and well worth every penny. In my opinion, she's in stock right now. This is the IKEA Flysta storage that I have put all over the house in different places. This is the entryway from the past. Style is definitely relative to what you like. Chucks are my signature shoe. And you know, every day at work when we're going out, I would wear Chucks every day. And how I style them, or whatever shoe I was wearing. I did kind of wear another type of shoe called an Inca. It's a Star Wars shoe. But I'm always back to my chucks at any given time. And people always looking at my feet. And so I love chucks, converse, whatever you want to call them. They are my signature shoe. This is a shirt I got from TJ Maxx in the kids section. It was, a, you know, a little snug on your girl. I could have worn it, but I wanted it for another 
piece that I was, uh, you know, had in mind. And so I cut it up live in a DIY and created something totally new on a sweatshirt that I got from, I believe it was Five Below. So don't sleep on Five Below. So I think I got like this little uh, t-shirt that I use, a sweatshirt that I used in the video to create it. And so it worked out. Nobody knew that I had DIY'd that shirt from a kid's t-shirt. This is me incorporating regular fashion and decor together. And this is a holiday tree from 2018 at work. Everybody loved it with the purple and the butterflies, but it's nothing but a hula hoop. I took a regular dollar store hula hoop, added some garland around it, and it turned into what you just saw. I had purple butterfly that I just attached on the tree and on the hula hoop. People loved the decor and that's how it turned out and I just kept adding and adding and with everything the way the tree looked it was beautiful. This was a dollar store find that was the wrong color, a bumblebee and I just turned it into this one with some Mod Podge and glitter and some thyme and it just you know just took form. This was another item from a dollar tree and I just added some glitter to it and added it to the tree with some purple ribbon and it just took on a life of its own. I do have a video link below to my Instagram so that you can actually see the purple tree and this was a different time when I created just a red and white traditional decor at work but yeah I enjoy decor.